All right, so we have an ear right here, a really nice ear model. Um, so first of all, what we'll be looking at is the external part. So we have your Oracle. You have right here, this is your Helix and your Anti-Helix, all right? Uh, next up, we have the Tragus and Anti-Tragus. So always think Anti is almost like on the other side. Tragus, Anti-Tragus, Helix, Anti-Helix. Um, Conchite is this part right here. Just pretend this is a Q-tip and I'm putting it in there and I can start cleaning my ears. That's your conchai part. Lobio, you can think of it like your earlobes, right? Lobio. Um, inside here would be your external acoustic meatus. When you open up, I'll show you more inside. In the back right here, we have your mastoid process. And this whole portion right here, all of this portion right here, that's your your petrous portion of your temporal bone, okay? Um, so let's open up the ear. Let's take a look inside. So remember right here, this is called your external acoustic meatus, or you can call it your external auditory canal. Either way works for me. Um, this right here is your tympanic membrane. So the tympanic membrane, I'll bring it up closer for you guys. You guys see this V right here that's separating? So there's two portions of the tympanic membrane. You have your pars flaccida, which is this triangular portion, and the rest of it would be your pars tensa, okay? Flip this guy over. You have two structures here in the back that you see. This is called your malleus of your ossicle. So you have three ossicles. You have your malleus, your incus, and stapes, which you'll see after. Um, the malleus, think of it like a hammer, all right? A malleus, it looks a bit like a hammer. Um, the next one would be incus. You can think of it like a boot if you want. And stapes, it would actually be on your cochlea right here. Is this portion here. That is your stapes. So how it how it connects to each other would be like so. Let me bring it closer for you guys to take a look. That's how it looks, all right? So moving on, we have your tensor tympani muscle, which is this part right here. That's your tensor tympani muscle. Um, your eustachian tube, which is all this portion here, everything that this probe is going through right now, that's your eustachian tube or your auditory tube. Um, let's pick up this right here. And for your, uh, your fenestra vestibule or your oval window, you can't actually see it on these models or either on this model here. It's actually underneath the stapes. So if I remove the stapes out here, you would see a hole and that would actually be your oval window. As for the round window or fenestra cochlea, it's actually this small hole right here. I'll bring closer for you guys to see. This small hole right here, right? And it actually can be found on the ear model right here, that hole. So if you place this guy down here, your cochlea, you open it, you see there's a hole, and then there's a hole on this one too, all right? Um, next up, we have your tympanic antrum. Your tympanic antrum is actually all this portion, this portion right here. Okay. Um, moving on, we have your cochlea. So let's take out this cochlea. So your cochlea, there's the scala, uh, scala tympani, which is this part right here. Your Scaly, uh, scala vestibule, which is here. So always think tympani first and then vestibule moving your way up. These pink dots right here, uh, these pink dots that you see right here, those are actually called your cochlear duct or organ of cortex. And last up top, so you have your scala tympani, scala vestibule, uh, and then tympani vestibule, and you work your way up to the top. The peak point is actually called your helicotrema. Your vestibule can be found these right here, this bump right here. Now there's two portions. There's your utricle, which is the bigger bump, and your sacco, which is the smaller bump. And these two make your vestibule. As for the semicircular canals, it's actually easiest if I place it on the ear model. So watch how it's placed. I'm gonna place it down right here, right? So that's how your cochlear, cochlea goes onto your ear. Um, if I remove this like so, so think of this, Right, uh, think of it like uh, this would be your lateral. You have your superior posterior because this one is gonna go on the posterior side of your ear. Remember, we're looking at this frontally. So if I remove this, you have your lateral, you have your posterior, uh, your posterior and your superior right here. 
Um, your ampulla is actually these bumps right here, these bumps on each of your semicircular canal. So what you'll have to say would be, this is the ampulla of your superior semicircular canal and the same as the rest, for the rest. Um, the semicircular ducts are actually inside these bones. So you won't see it on this model, but if you chip up these pieces of bone, you can actually see a semicircular duct underneath. And that's it for the ear.